Ciao ragazzi, sono la prof. Adesso guardiamo il passato prossimo. Il passato prossimo is a past tense. It's perhaps the most used, one of the most used past tenses. It is a compound verb, which means it's made of two verbs. So you get two elements each time. And on this page you see some words that you might need to introduce a sentence in the past. For example, due giorni, una settimana, un mese, un anno, these are all words that have to do with time frames. Fa, fa means ago. Scorso, last, passato, last, last, Monday, last month. So lunedì scorso, il mese scorso, l'anno scorso, la settimana scorsa, or you can use passato. Other examples, ieri, ieri sera. So most verbs conjugate with avere as their helping verb, also actually known as the auxiliary verb. And I would say that's 85% of our verbs. Okay, so it's avere, which will conjugate. This is your working verb, plus what's known as the past participle. So how do you make a past participle? Adverbs, like mangiare, becomes ato. Adverbs, like cadere, become uto. Adverbs, like salire, become ito. Okay, I usually tell you in class, Okay, so we do ato, uto, ito, and you have to know which one. Okay, so these are the, this is another way of seeing this, are, ato, ere, uto, ere, ito. So this matches the leading vowel, this leading, this matches too, and this one doesn't. So you want to remember that one. Unfortunately, there are, there's a long list of irregular past participles. So here it goes. You really have to learn these because these are very common verbs. Dire, which means to say. Detto. Fare, to do. Fatto. Scrivere, to write. Scritto. Dipingere, to paint. Dipinto. Bere, to drink. Bevuto. Rispondere, to answer. Risposto. Decidere, to decide. Deciso. Correre, to run. Corso. Perdere, to lose. Perso. Vedere, to see. Visto. Prendere, to take. Preso. Leggere, to read. Letto. Chiedere, to ask. Chiesto. Mettere, to put. Messo. Vincere, to win. Vinto. Aprire, to open. Aperto. Conoscere, to know. Know someone, to be acquainted with. Conosciuto. I want to see the I right there, which is unexpected. This is an additional list, but as obviously you can see, it looks different. These are the irregulars of house verbs. So I will explain what the house verbs are. In a minute but these are your main irregular house verbs they're more house verbs but they're not irregular so essere to be stato piacere to like piaciuto here again nascere to be born nato venire to come venuto morire to die morto scendere to descend come down, sceso, rimanere, to stay, rimasto. House verbs is a particular group which really are the intransitive verbs which means they don't take an object in general. Uh, these verbs have one thing in common. Your auxiliary verb, so your helping verb, is not avere anymore. Your working verb is not avere but it is essere. Now these are a bit trickier because not only the helping verb is essere, but your past participle, so ato, uto, ito, will have to agree with the subject. 
so it usually gets trickier. So let's learn the list. Uh, they are known as house verbs uh, in teachers' classrooms, um, and this is a way to remember them. So entrance verbs, arrivare, venire, to come, to arrive, to come, entrare, to enter, piacere, it's kind of nice if you like the people in your house, essere, to be, general. So essere wants essere, avere wants avere, nascere, to be born, this is a cycle of life, nascere, diventare, to become, there's the butterfly right there. Yeah. And morire, to die. And we have some static verbs like stare. Stare has the same past, past participle as essere. They both have the same past participle, which is stato. Restare, which is synonymous. Just another version. Rimanere, that also means to stay. Then we have the stairway section, salire, to go up, scendere, to go down, and cadere, to fall, Ooh, if you don't pay attention. Then we have partire, to depart, so exit verbs, more or less, this is all, just to remember the list, andare, to go, uscire, to exit, to leave. And then this one, I'll put it in the middle, and it means to return. So this one goes back and forth. So these are two ways to remember this list. This is the one that I just indicated with the house, arrival verbs. Those with an asterisk are verbs that are irregular. So arrivare, venire, entrare, life cycle, piacere, essere, nascere, diventare, morire. Stay, stare, or restare, and rimanere. The stairs, salire, scendere, cadere, and to leave, part, like to leave to exit, partire, andare, uscire, and ritornare, which could somewhat be in the middle. Another way to remember this is with, if you remember, Mrs. Ventusa, paste. So you see it, Mrs. Ventusa. Paste. So that also is a mnemonic device. Okay. So really briefly, uh, to make a past tense, let's make a past tense of a regular verb. So I ate, io ho mangiato la pizza ieri. So this is your helping verb that does all the work, and the one with the meaning picks up the past participle. Ato uto ito. Now. I have to pick a house verb, so I will pick to arrive. And I am a girl, so this has to match the subject. So, io sono uscita con Luisa ieri. So, I went out with Luisa yesterday, so because the subject is a girl, it's me. Uscita. So, you have to pick the right helping verb, which is now the verb to be. Then you will agree the past participle to the subject, depending on what the subject is. So remember there are two verbs, helping verb and your ato, uto, ito, or an irregular, or essere. So they're either avere or essere. For essere, you have a more limited list. However, they do keep coming back because it's a very, very common list of verbs, as you can see in this page. So this is very quickly. Uh, how to make a passato prossimo in the Italian language. I hope this helped.